enjoy your first test match? Uh, yeah, look, it was obviously good um, to get to get the win um, from a team's perspective. Um, that's obviously what we planned and aimed to do um, to win the first game. Um, we obviously still have our eye on the series, um, so it was good from that perspective. From a player's perspective, not a lot really to to take from um, with the bat. Um, but I guess we've got the second test, and hopefully that can go well. I think from the bowling front, I definitely think we ticked a lot of boxes from that point of view. Um, I think the guys ran in with aggression. Um, they brought a, a high level of intensity and skill. So I think there's not much really that I can that I can point um, that I can fault from that point of view. I think with the batting, I think there's definitely room um, for us to improve from that point of view. Um, it's obviously been a topic of conversation for quite a while now um, about us as batters, and I think for us. Again, we just need to go back, continue having those conversations, um, keep challenging ourselves um, to keep improving. Um, I guess people always look at the batting to really kind of understand what is the brand of cricket that you're trying to play. So, I mean, we know we have that responsibility in the batters. Um, and look, we'll keep using those opportunities to, to, to do that. Uh, Timbo, what went through your mind when that crust of wickets fell between 10 past five? Night, um, yeah, there was a bit of a crazy period um, for, for us. I wouldn't put that down to us trying to play a certain way, a certain brand of cricket. I wouldn't do that. Um, I think they bowled really well during during that period. Um, and they really exploited what was happening out there out there in the wicket. Um, I think Aiden was the only one really who, who showed any type of um, fluency on that wicket. Um, but I think at the end, we'd probably done a lot or we'd almost done enough in our first innings to kind of give ourselves that, that, that cushion. Um, but yeah, for me, it was a crazy period that, that last hour. Um, and it did, it did allow some nerves to kind of settle in. Temba, um, I was just wondering what, what was the thinking behind leaving a guy like Ramani Gulden out and then batting Egan at five? I think, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my opinion, but I think, you know, the coach is probably best positioned to answer those type of questions. Um, I think with Keegan, he's obviously a guy that's been within the team. Um, he's been out not because of performances, but because of um, injury. Um, he's fit now, you know, and we do have a, I guess, an unwritten policy that says that the incumbent guy comes in. Um, Keegan has been an important player for us. Um, you know, he's coming to the team, he batted out of position, batting at number three. Um, number five has really always been his position. And I think you want to give a guy that opportunity um, in, in a position that he prefers. Um, obviously, a guy like Ryan, he's, he's banging in the runs. Um, and I think sometimes those things happen. You don't always get an opportunity when, when you are doing well. Sometimes you get an opportunity when you're not doing well. So I think with Ryan, you know, looking at all our experiences as, 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 as players, you know, he needs to keep his head down um, as he's doing, keep putting in the work, and then when that opportunity comes, um, make sure that he's mentally ready for it. Jabba, congratulations on the uh, first test, test when it's happened. Um, you know, part of um, your captaincy is, is leading a rebuild of the South African batting lineup. Um, is it frustrating that, uh, how, how important is uh, test match exposure for, for Batsman and it's frustrating that we saw a little bit coming up in the next few years. Yeah, look, I mean, it is a bit frustrating. Um, I think a lot of us have voiced it out. Um, there's not much that we can do. Um, I mean, we have spoken to, I guess, the officials at CSA and I think there are efforts to try increase those um, number of games this year. How they do that, that's up to them. Um, but I think, yeah, as, as a new team where you're trying to really build something of, of substance. Um, you really want to give guys um, proper opportunities to, to really showcase what they can do within the team. Um, it does make it hard, but 
those are the cards that we've been dealt, um, and we just have to do with what we have. Uh, um, just going back to the selection, um, do you guys feel that maybe you misread the conditions a little bit in, in terms of playing um, the spinner? Uh, could, in retrospect, do you think maybe seven would <coughs> be the way to go? And just on that, that crazy period you mentioned uh, on the second afternoon, uh, there was no night watchman centre, which is a bit. Uh, Unusual to what you guys normally do. What was there a specific reason for that? So I'll start off the last one. Um, that was the coach's rule. Um, from now on, there's not going to be any white watchmen. Um, so us middle orders will have to, yeah, we'll have to find a way. Um, and I think in terms of the composition, I think we were not think. Um, our plan was to go with the, with the seven batters. Um, hence, Sen came in. Um, at number seven, instead of um, the usual, the usual cash, um, cash out. I didn't, well, we, we didn't expect it to offer much with spin, which I think it kind of proved over the three days. Um, and that's why you saw a guy like Mutasani come in. Tabi, you spoke the other day of the importance of the West Indies team in your growing up as a cricketer, and, and you know, your family supporting that, and I can understand why that would be, but I wonder what it's like now. You walk out and it's the same badge that you supported, and now you they're your opponents. You know, is that a, I'm sure you're professional enough to, to simply go out there and play cricket, but is there an emotional side to I support these guys and they're going to be? Yeah, I think off the field, um, I mean, that sentiment is, is quite big in me, off the field, but I think once we get on the field, like I think all all competitive sportsmen, it's, it's me versus them, or it's us versus them. and. We want to do what we can to to win the game. Um, look, like you said, you know, it's a it's a team that you know I hold I hold in high respect. I'm in high regard. Um, actually, before the game started, I got got opportunity to speak to Brian. Um, had to kind of pinch my Brian Laura. Had to kind of pinch myself there. But yeah, once we get on the field, it's 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 us versus them. Can I quickly ask, what did you talk to Brian Laura about? Uh, well, he actually came to me and said, um, "Big respect, big big up, um, or respect to you uh, for the position that you have." Um, and he wishes he wishes me well. I think uh, so. It's a very short time that you worked with him now, but I want to know with regards to Mr. Kent and what it's been like to work with him as a as a batter. Yeah, Mackie. Um, Sometimes I find it hard to see him as a coach because I played with him so much as a player. Um, I joined the Lions under his um, under his leadership. He was one of the main batters within within the team, um, and I mean I picked I picked his brain um, a lot. So I mean Mackie coming back, you know you you know what you're gonna get. Um, the guy has a wealth of knowledge, um, especially now he's had the opportunity to coach in in other parts of the world. Um, he knows his stuff. Many. Um, I think he's also a great team guy as well. Sometimes he feels like he's one of the players um, and he really knows how to to kind of interact or, or find his way within the team. So it's great having Mackie as well. I'm sure the other guys also feel that. Tim, I'm, I'm pretty sure he would, have, he would have been disappointed with himself the way he got out twice, but just how pleased have you been with um, Dean Algos' contribution in this game, I mean, he, he took the lead, you know, in getting a solid platform up front in that first thing. And it really also seemed that you truly enjoyed having him alongside you. We saw a lot of times where you guys were actually like actively consulting each other on plans. Just how did you enjoy that dynamic? Look, I mean, for me, Dean's a, Dean's a massive player. Um, I think not just in terms of what he does with the bat, but I think mentally, um, he really He's really an example of what South African cricket is about, um, that hardness. Um, the guy was always wanting to, to, to prove a point. You know, I think, you know, he obviously has, I guess, his challenges, if I could say, that he's dealing with. Um, and it's great to, to see him go out um, and, and answer to those challenges the way he does. Um, also in terms of, you know, how we want to go about our, our betting. You know, it's all it's all good and well when it's spoken about in betting meetings, but when a senior player like him 
um, who's carrying so much on his shoulders goes out and plays like that, he gets a 70. Yes, people might criticize and say he didn't go on to get a big one, but I mean, in the context of the game, you know, the guy really put us in a more than strong enough position um, for us to, to win the game. So, I mean, for me, Dean's a massive player. I wouldn't want him to, to go anywhere. Um, I think he, I think his body might be saying something else, but yeah, Tins a Tins a massive player for us. Tim, a new new coach, new captain. Um, are there any new sort of traditions that you guys brought in? Are you guys going to celebrate the win, or any new rituals, or whatever you're going to take us to the changing? I, I think the rituals, those kind of stay the same. Um, I think. Yes, there might be a new coach, a new captain, but I think you still got to respect what the process is about. Um, and I think it's obviously up to those guys who are in those leadership positions to keep carry on with that. Um, so I don't expect anything different. Um, I'm sure the beers will be flowing uh, in, the, in, in the change room. Um, we'll do our team song as per normal, but yeah, I don't really see things changing from in terms of the customs and the rituals we do as a team. Okay, Okay, and this is good to be called an indoor, a different beyond the layer. Um, and your money, my cash is in the Zamba Zamba and yellow show. I like a class I big it and I like it. I'm trying to uh, Lambuza Waco was being Tom Cockele, a balagile in the bow cockele, a bazali pie by Len Gottaga, Funango, Uli Bal in the bar in the balagle, Udo Coca, Yogano, Udo Chulayo. Unugoke <laughs> Preparation, who goes long, Selena,